Dante's Boxing Nation. In the world, it's Devin's time. It's Haney time. You hey. talked all that shit? Yeah, now what? It's time now. It's oh, yeah. 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 I'm the best. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So the truth will always come to light eventually. And in the sport of boxing, there's no better testimony than the testimony that comes from your opponent that has been in the ring with you. George Cambosis is back to training and he's in high spirits after his consecutive back-to-back -back losses to Devin Haney. And the only thing that has changed when it comes to George Cambosis is his level of respect for Devin Haney. You guys may recall, as soon as George Cambosis won those titles, he started to act a lot like Teofimo Lopez, which came off as extremely repulsive. But where George Cambosis distinguished himself from Teofimo Lopez is after he lost. When Teofimo lost, he came off as the villain. That's why he was booed after he lost for all the excuses he made and the fact that he could not give George Cambosis credit for beating him. But respect to George Cambosis, you can tell he really respects the sport as well because when he lost to Devin Haney, he gave Devin Haney all of the credit that Devin deserves. The truth came out as it often does. I told you guys at the beginning of this video, there is no better confirmation, there is no better testimony than the testimony that comes from the opponent that has been in the ring with you. And despite me seeing comments from some of my Mexican viewers saying that Devin Haney, he has no power, he has no chin, just basically trying to discredit him. When it comes to the actual fighters that get in the ring, they're actually saying the complete opposite about Devin Haney. And we know when these boxers say it, they don't have a hidden agenda at all. So George Cambosis once again was doing this recent interview. And it was really interesting because the reporter, he was trying to coach George Cambosis into dissing Devin Haney. But it didn't work because in return, all George Cambosis did was just praise and praise and praise Devin Haney. He basically said for anyone that said that Devin Haney doesn't have a chin, he has a very good chin because I was hitting him with some really, really good shots. And keep in mind, this is coming from a fighter who knocked down Teofimo Lopez and Teofimo Lopez didn't even want to run it back. And he can't use the excuse it was because he wanted to move up to 140 or felt he needed to. Because if that's the case, Devin Haney needs to move up to 140 right now. If you look at Devin Haney the way he was drained when he weighed in for his last fight, that's a clear indication that it's time for him to move up. But Devin Haney is still staying at 135 because the biggest fight for him is there, which is against Lomachenko. We've never seen Teofimo Lopez look as sucked up as Devin Haney did in his last weigh-in. So if Devin Haney can stay at 135 for one more fight, then Tio definitely could have stayed at 135 to avenge the only loss that was on his record. There's no reason to make excuses for why you lost if you're not ready to avenge the loss. Because that's the way you show people that, you know, that version of me, that wasn't me. I wasn't 100%. Now, if you give me a rematch, I'm going to show you what I can do when I'm 100%. That's why people take rematches. But Tio didn't do that because he knew he was going to have the same problems he had in the first fight. So then George Cambosis, he co-signed what Linares said. He said in his power, it seemed like he had increased his power. He said, but I think it was mainly because he was sitting down on his punches. George admitted that he was hurt really bad in the 10th round because he said, you know, I guess there's something about me in the 10th round because that's when I was hurt against Teofimo Lopez as well. He said something on those lines. He's still there in trade as well, so... And you know, props to him. And you know, I had a really good round. Round eight was nice. Round nine was pinpoint shots. And you know, I once shot, I landed on him. And you know, they say that something wrong with his chin. Nothing's wrong with his chin because I landed a nice shot. And he bounced back in round 10. You know, he nearly took me out. So uh, I must have this problem with round 10 because it happened in the Lopez fight as well. But I survived like a true champion, like a true warrior. And I uh, bounced back round 11 and 12 and finished the fight. And finished on my feet, finished uh, throwing my shots. And to the last second, you know, to my last breath, I was still fighting to win. And most important thing, but... Uh... 
Now, once again, you hear George Cambosis compare his 10th round with uh, Devin Haney to his 10th round with Teofimo Lopez. Then he continues by saying, you know, but I bounced back in the 11th round and I managed to finish on my feet as if he's saying he was really, really hurt in that 10th round. I told you guys going into that rematch, if George Cambosis comes to fight, there's a very good chance that he could get stopped. And he actually almost did get stopped in that 10th round. So credit to George because he did finish on his feet and he found a way to survive. He is a special fighter. You know, he's got a beautiful jab, he's got great speed up. His power did increase from the first fight to the second fight. Maybe because he sat there more and tried to trade more and, uh, and they sit on his shots, but I thought a little bit of difference there. And um, just his movements, you know, he restricts your, his target where you can aim your shots, minimizes that. And then all of a sudden, when you do land one shot, He's gone, then he's back again in that distance and he can land and take you with, with his shots. So, uh, you know, all props to him, man. Me and him have uh, uh, shown a lot of respect to each other. Mm. We're talking to each other now. And, uh, you know, so I'm in this corner. I know he's in my corner and uh, we'll see what the future holds. You know, I know he'll probably move up and, and I'm looking to, to regain another world title at 135 where, where I make it very, very comfortable. Okay, so you heard George Cambosa say that Devin is moving up to 140, which gives him an opportunity to fight for another world title at 135. I like the fact that he hasn't lost his confidence and he's no longer talking about retiring because there's a lot of great matches that can be made with George Cambosis. I would love to see Cambosis versus a Roly Romero or an Isaac Cruz or even a Shakur Stevenson. Matter of fact, that fight might end up being ordered since Isaac Cruz doesn't want the smoke with Shakur Stevenson and that fight was ordered by the WBC. So there's a lot of good matches for George Cambosis and he's still in the deepest division in boxing right now. We'll see how it plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.